Hi everyone, and welcome to HBCU Counter Stories. My name is Ren, and I am the project manager and a fellow researcher for this collaboration. In today's presentation, we want to be the voice for all of the adult learners and non-traditional students in the community who are furthering their education, but of course have some roadblocks and things that might hinder that furthering of the education. Today presenting will be Tessa, Adrian, and Kath on their research findings. And they use Bitmojis to bring their participants to life through animation. You will hear different stories and different things that they go through to further their education. All participants in this project varies in different age and demographics. So without further ado, we will go ahead and be the voices for their counter stories. Hi everyone, my name is Adrienne Long and I'm a rising junior, a psychology major minoring in math communications and I attend North Carolina Central University. At nearly 48 years old and having been out of school previously for at least 20 years, I too qualify as an adult student. Working with Duke and the Story Plus team, and also my team from the HBCU Counter Stories Project, will allow me to understand my personal purpose for wanting to advocate for non-traditional adult students just like me. I want to ensure that all students will be seen and heard regarding their educational plight and successes. From this research, we know that institutions of higher learning, but more importantly those that are historically black colleges or in universities, or also known as HBCUs, need to do more for adult students in supporting their needs. The findings were also disappointing regarding the lack of resources related to media and film that feature adult students and or HBCUs in pop culture. While conducting our research, my team and I realized the need to amplify the voices of the participants from the focus groups, as well as the individual transcripts of interviews. It was important to me and my fellow researchers that we find a way to amplify the voices of all adult students in a way that dignifies each person's journey in life. What will be discovered is a common thread. Motivation, one of the biggest reasons, paired with family, economic, and financial support, are all playing a part in the race to personal achievement. Kanisha is one of the participants of the study. She is a black female between the age of 40 and 44 who took 16 years to complete her degree. Today, she is a second year grad student who is motivated to complete her education and move on with the help and assistance of her children. Now that they are grown, she has an opportunity to focus on herself and reach as high as the stars. She, like many other students, have become motivated through parenting, their family support, and even the desire to move on and obtain better employment. Found out I was pregnant. Ended up having a baby and going straight to work. I really think during that time, I just wasn't ready. Wasn't ready to come to college. I should have gone ahead and finished. But I had a small child, other family concerns. I really wasn't ready. I would take a semester, do a semester, take a semester off, do another semester. I took a long break. It's motivation. I can do anything I put my mind to. I didn't want to stop. I didn't want to take a break working in parenting. Working in parenting. Yeah, challenging. Being a mom motivates me. Sometimes you get lost in the process. Appreciate time in your life. Celebrate yourself, even the smallest thing. Celebrate yourself. I can only speak from experience. Hi, everyone. I'm Tessa. Um, I'm a rising sophomore at Duke. I took two gap years before I started college, so I'm a little bit of a non-traditional or adult student. Um, but really, a lot of the research we did through this project made me think more of my mother, um, who raised me as a single mom and whom I kind of saw go in and out of higher education throughout my life. Uh, she doesn't have a college degree, but her path greatly influenced my own, which turned out to be a common thread for many of the adult learners that were interviewed for this project. And during this research, mother-daughter influences came up as a big factor influencing adult women learners' higher education journeys. 
The common dimensions we found were that either the student's mother had a degree and was a positive role model, did not have a degree and or did not emphasize higher education in the student's life, did not have a degree but emphasized getting one for the child, or the student's daughter prioritized higher education, which inspired the student to go back and finish their own degree. For one of our participants, Shannon, her mother did not have a degree, but served as a positive influence constantly encouraging her to pursue higher education. Shannon's statistics will tell you that it took her 14 years to finish her bachelor's degree, but her full story is so much more than that. Shannon was initially unclear on what she wanted to do as a career. She started her higher education journey at Wake Tech back in 2003, but life got in the way. Reflecting on her mother, who had gotten pregnant at 17 and never finished college, but emphatically hoped for Shannon to have better opportunities, she went back to school at NCCU in 2013. She received her bachelor's in 2017 and ended up going on to complete a master's in library science, becoming only the second person in her family to get a bachelor's degree and the first to complete a master's. She credits her mother as one of her biggest cheerleaders and one of the biggest reasons she was able to get through. I am Katherine Winfrey, a North Carolina Central University student. As I transcribed files collected from interviews with adult learners, I heard about the difficult situations and burdening concerns carried by non-traditional students. Concerns that lie beneath the physical appearance of being an older student. Here is the sciency part of our research. Data points showing the variation in graduation age and years to degree completion of our non-traditional students. When compared to traditional students, the dots on this plot may look like statistical outliers, failing to graduate in less than six consecutive years by age 24. The dots on this plot may potentially be considered academic failures. I would like to introduce you to coordinate 4828, a perceived statistical academic outlier. In Story Plus, I learned to appreciate the other story data points tell us. The artsy story, the lived story, the story no one knew and once told must not be forgotten. The story that will empower change. Now, I would like to introduce you to Trina McCarter, formerly known to you as Coordinate 4828. <laughs> The dot on the plot did not tell us that getting A's encouraged Trina to keep coming back for another semester. It did not tell us that one of her motivations to keep taking classes was to set an example for her 15-year-old son to encourage him to go to college and to show her older son and daughter that it is never too late to get your degree. Conclusion, I have learned that the story of the adult learner is often one of resilience, determination, and balancing family, work, and education. These behind-the-dot stories have the potential to create a new dynamic narrative within the higher education systems, one that values learning as part of living, not just something we complete once and then we're done. And this concludes our presentation. I hope that you guys learned a little bit more about our non-traditional students and adult learners. I'd like to thank Do Story for allowing us to have this opportunity to conduct this research. Our PEIs, Colleen and Steph, for guiding us through this research. And my fellow researchers, Kath, Adrian, and Tessa, for putting their heart and soul into this research and this presentation. Thank you guys so much for attending and I hope that you guys have a wonderful day.